afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo at Parkway RV Center. Man, have I got one for y'all today. Wow. Um, this is not a diesel motor home. This is a diesel coach. A diesel motor coach, guys. This is the equivalent of like a Prevost or a Bluebird. Done very, very few of these because not many of these hit the used market. This is a 2004 monaco signature the big dog and the guys i know this is an older motor home and i'll go more into that here in a minute but this is a triple crown 42 it's 42 and a half feet long ignore what's on the windshield guys i'm gonna sell it for a lower price it's a different length different motor size and all that stuff hey i don't know what they were thinking when they wrote all that on there but um this is a 2004 monaco signature 42 triple crown three slides hence the triple crown guys in 2004 msrp was five hundred and thirty five thousand dollars that is in 2004 prices now guys think about how prices have changed since 19 in the past 19 years you know rv prices have doubled since then so this is a million dollar plus coach today this is the equivalent of a Prevost or a Bluebird, guys. Uh, built on a Roadmaster S chassis. And you can ask any RV enthusiast, anybody that uh, is very experienced with RVs and has been for a long time, the S series Roadmaster. I know Roadmaster's had its ups and downs over the decades. Uh, you know, the, the trailing arm recall and the RR4R chassis and all that stuff. Well, guys, this is the opposite end of the spectrum. This is one of the most dependable and uh, sought after chassis ever made. It was the Roadmaster S chassis. This is what this one has. It is a tag axle with one of the most coveted, most sought after motors ever put in an RV. This unit has a massive 14 liter 60 series Detroit rear engine diesel 1650 pound feet of torque 10,000 pound tow capacity 500 horsepower the motor in this rv is almost 3,000 pounds massive double the size of most modern motor homes i mean this guys this thing is a commercial truck engine that will last hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of miles guys i mean you take care of this motor home it will literally outlast the entire motor home and then some got it running right now it sounds awesome and get this it only has forty-six thousand miles on it 42 and a half feet long total length nine layer roof system fiberglass top Brand new tires, several thousand dollars worth of tires. Air suspension, air brakes, 4,000 Allison six-speed automatic transmission. Look at those beautiful alloy wheels. 50 amp power, of course. Power hose reel. This thing is a beast, guys. It is an absolute highway tearing up beast. <laughs> I mean, this, if, if you had the money and you wanted the best in 2004, this is what you would have brought home. It has a monster 12 and a half KW diesel on and generator that runs great. Three roof airs. Three 15,000 BTU roof airs, big one piece windshield, which was something you didn't see in many coaches in 04 multi-stage full body paint half a million dollars in 2004 guys patio awnings door awnings massive i mean guys this is the best of the best now i'm gonna go ahead and say something guys and i don't want to scare you all away i think it needs to be said and it needs to be said i'm really gonna say this on all older rvs I think there's a common misconception with our with a lot. I'm not gonna say all used RV shoppers, but with a lot of used RV shoppers. And guys, I'm all about transparency on my channel. 
so many people think that just because it's on a dealer's lot that no matter how old the RV is, that they're just gonna be able to jump in the coach, crank it up, drive it cross country, stay in it for the next, every night for the next year and never do a thing to it. Everything's gonna be absolutely perfect. Cupcakes and rainbows, never have an issue, never have to fix anything on it, guys, that is so wrong. Older, see, I bought it 05 myself and it's a year later, I'm still working on it. Guys, older RVs like this are a labor of love. Yes, you save a lot of money. I mean, this thing was $535,000 new. Book on this thing, wholesale book is almost a hundred grand. I'm, I've got it lower than, I've got, I'm 30 grand lower than any other uh, 2004 signature in the country. And I've also got the lowest mileage 2004 signature in the country. And 30 grand less. And so it's, is it perfect? No, it's nice shape. Yes, for an 04, it's not to almost 20 years old. But does it need a few things? Of course. Every 2004, even those on the market for 30 grand more, probably need just as much stuff uh, or more than this one does. But they're, they're not honest about it. I am. So yes, we're going to go over it, guys, but don't expect to buy a 2004 and be absolutely perfect. It's going to need a few things. I'm going to go over what I see, and you be your own judge. You need to come look at it. You need to hire a third-party inspection service before you decide if this is the right one for you and your family, regardless of the price. Now, let's look inside. Now, I will tell you that we did put new carpet in it. Obviously, after 19 years, it needed it. Um, air conditioners are ice cold. And guys, again, I'm not trying to scare you about older motorhomes, okay? I'm just telling you the truth. I believe that if you sell the truth, then everybody, there's nobody's got nothing to be scared of. If you tell the truth, and those that appreciate that will understand you and will still purchase an RV from you. Better know the truth up front than get here and not. So, you know, a 19-year-old motorhome is not gonna be new. It's not gonna be like new in no shape, form, or fashion. No matter what you do, what you spend on it. But now guys, that price is not 99.9. You know, I looked them up online and the shit lowest price one I can find was 119. You know, I got to thinking about it. Talked to dad about it. And you know what? I'm not happy with just being in a motor home like this. I don't want to be just 20 grand under the lowest price one in the country. I want to be more than that. I want to be 30 grand under the lowest priced one in the country. We're going to make that price 89.9. Let me flash up an NADA real quick, just, 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 just so you can see the base book and notice no, no adding for any options. Hang on. Now, when's the last time you saw a diesel pusher like this with with under 50,000 miles in the current market that far under NADA retail, like stupid far under NADA retail? I mean, that is incredible, guys. Uh, you saw what it costs new. The list price new is 538, um, 128 or 129 average retail, low retail, low book was 106. And I could get 99.9 for it just as easy as 89.9, but I'm gonna price it for 89.9. Now, if you come on the lot, you're gonna see that price right there. So you you know you need to tell us you saw it in Big Bo's video to get that 89.9 price. I'm trying a little experiment here, Big Bo special. Um, but that is a haggle-free firm price, and, I, and I'm gonna be very limited on what I can do to this RV. Obviously, I'm not making any money on this thing, or very little money, so I'm only going to guarantee the generator to work, the roof airs, slide outs, plumbing systems, and of course the uh, refrigerator and freezer to get cold. And of course for it to go down the road. We drove it several hundred miles in. Brand new tires. It does have automatic traction control. 46,978 miles but everything else sold as is. So keep in mind, the one thing I do know that doesn't work, it does have a flip down TV that's got a power lift on it that comes down right here. 
it doesn't work i don't know if the tv's up there or not honestly for 89.9 it doesn't really matter um you know when i'm looking at an rv guys i care about the motor the transmission the generator the roof airs refrigerator the running the driving i don't give two flips about a tv i mean that's so so min minuscule and minor of a thing to worry about when it, when you're looking at an rv that i can't imagine anybody would that even be the least little bit of concern i'm looking at looking for water damage which i haven't seen any on this and and i'm looking for delamination i'm looking for stuff that can cost me multiple thousands of dollars to fix if it doesn't work that's the stuff i care about when i look at a used rv a 200 dollars tv i don't give a hill of beans about that 200 dollars on a, when you buy a used rv a 200 dollar uh fix is, is is drops in the bucket compared to what you'll spend fixing up an rv so Heck, if I need a TV, I'll use my phone, a tablet, a laptop, or throw a TV on a dash or on the table or something, or or fix this. You know, a lot of times it may just be a, uh, um, it could be a fuse, it could be a switch, it could be a motor, it could be a multiple number of things. So, but there is supposed to be a, is that supposed to come down? They don't use these anymore because they obviously were not very dependable, but that is a little electric lift that comes down with a TV, so. I don't know if it's in there or not. Don't really matter for that price. Beautiful interior, guys. I mean, this is all solid wood cabinets. I mean, this was the best of the best. <coughs> in 2004, look at these tray ceilings. Got the rope lighting with the mirrors. Uh, it's got rear tray ceilings too. Slide outs, everything looks great. It originally had a sofa right here, but obviously one of the previous owners didn't need that extra sofa, so they put him a great big recliner chair right there. So I'm gonna sell it like that. Uh, we do guarantee the slide outs to work. We guarantee all three roof airs to be cold. Guarantee the refrigerator freezer to get cold. Guarantee the plumbing systems to pressurize and work. Uh, guarantee the uh, uh, refrigerator freezer to work. And of course, everything else sold as is. A couple of light bulbs are burnt out. Uh, again, guys, trivial stuff. You know, like I said, older RVs, that's just part of buying one. You know, and, and I, you know, you've got to be open minded looking at older RVs because, especially on something like this, you know, you've got to be open minded enough to realize you're saving 30 grand. Actually, what was NADA? 128. What is that? Almost $40,000 under NADA retail. When you're saving 40 grand off what it should be selling for, you've got to be open-minded enough to realize, hey, for 40 grand, I can fix this stuff myself or pay somebody to fix it. Or, hey, let me put it to you this way, guys. You pay me $128,500, I'll get that TV lift fixed for you. I'll make sure every light fix on it. You give me 128.5, it may take me a little bit, but I'll make sure every little thing in this thing works perfect. For $128,500, I'll be ecstatic. <laughs> you know if you want to pay that for it guys i will make sure everything works or you can pay me 89.9 and you fix all that little stuff most of that stuff you can probably fix yourself if you've got if you know your way around a toolbox got a little common sense if not find some buys up find a uh find a place to fix it for you i mean you, you know there's no way you're going to spend even a fraction of that amount of forty thousand dollars fixing that stuff not even a a tenth of it it's all little stuff, mostly light bulbs and things like that. So, you know, that's the way I look at it. Now, y'all may see it totally different than me, but but then again, you know, anytime I buy a used anything, house, a car, a used car, a used RV, used boat, whatever, I buy it expecting to work on it. That's the way I was raised. You know, I buy a used house. It don't matter if it's a two-year-old used house. If I spend a million dollars on it, I'm, I'm going to expect for six months to do some work on it you know, or, or used RV or used car or used anything. That's just the nature of buying used. I mean, you look at what it costs new to what it costs now. I mean, guys, this is a million, uh, the equivalent of this coach now is over a million dollars. Million dollars versus 89.9, put a pencil to that. And look how much money you're saving or, or take what this thing costs new in 2004 to what it costs now. $450,000 worth of savings. And y'all know four hundred fifty thousand or, or uh, five hundred and thirty-eight thousand dollars is a lot of money, but 
today it's not near as much money as it was back in 2004. But anyway, got a big 14 cubic foot Nora cold refrigerator freezer. We'll make sure it gets to operating temp. All those airs feel good. I tell you right now, sorry about that guys. I had to do a quick battery swap. Well, let's get that guys. Let's go to the back. Um, man, this is beautiful Corian countertops too. You got a microwave, convection oven, no cracks in the Corian anywhere. Of course, that's that S Roadmaster chassis. I think it's 10 airbags. 10 outward bound uh, air shots. So it's got a great ride and drive to it. Man, look at this shower. It's a little dirty in the floor. I don't think they've had a chance to wash it. Look at that sliding glass. <laughs> that's not plastic, guys. That's uh, that's Corey in the shower walls. You see how thick that roof is. Nine layer roof, five layer side walls, five layer floor system. It is full pass through storage. I meant to tell you it's got slide out trays, multiple slide out pass through trays. Huge rear bedroom with a King Island bed. Notice the tray ceilings in here, a little darker in here so the rope lighting shows better. Um, it's got power shades. Um, outside vanity, medicine cabinet. It is missing a TV in here, so you need to put a TV in here. Um, Big cedar line closet in the back. It's got a washer and dryer combo. This thing is so well insulated. <clears throat> I mean, we're basically standing on top of that big 14 liter uh, 60 series Detroit. And I, I, can I can hear it, but I can barely feel it in my feet. I mean, this thing is just massive motor. Headboard, uh, stereo over there. You can crank your generator from right there as well. Sliding privacy door. Uh, solid door for privacy. Plenty of fantastic vent fans. Porcelain RV toilet. Second vanity in here. Another fantastic vent fan. Man, this is a, a fancy rig right here, guys. I don't get to shoot many of these. And even though this thing's 20 years old, it's they don't build them like this anymore, guys. And I know I say that a lot, but that's why I love shooting older RVs because, man, these things just got power blinds there. I was trying to figure out how to work them. They don't build them like this anymore, guys. I mean, the craftsmanship, of course, they don't build them... <laughs> this expensive either without getting again getting into the bluebird and prevost buses but you get what you paid for back then and now again guys it's 89.9 and this is an online big bow guys i apologize i'm having camera issues with my gopro it's about time to retire it and get another one but what i'm getting at guys i got this thing for 89.9 um, we do guarantee I would do a basic guarantee on just a major stuff only Obviously, I can't do a lot for that price, but I'll at least make sure your basic stuff works your major stuff anyway slide outs generator refrigerator freezer plumbing and uh, Running and driving got brand new tires on it um, Can't go wrong while I was based on my camera. I went ahead and looked up. I'm gonna show you something that nobody else on YouTube is ever going to show you as far as RV salespeople or RV review. See, there's another NADA uh, dealer website called NADA or JD Power Connect, and that's a dealer version of the NADA, the one that dealers have to pay for. And it doesn't just show retail like the public version does. It actually shows the actual wholesale value. And I have it on my phone right here, uh, J Connect, and this is a 2004 Triple Crown Detroit. And I want to show you something here, guys. No added options. Wholesale, $99,600, retail $128,500. As, right, as of today, right now, you can see, guys, um, I'm not playing around. Don't be surprised if, a dealer, if another dealer buys this thing for $89,900 and you see this same unit on their lot a week from now. For twenty thousand dollars more, it's that kind of deal. 
but again guys i'm only going to do a very basic inspection so you really need to come look at this thing for yourself test drive it maybe hire an inspector but i'm not going to fix anything besides just very basic stuff the generator the roof airs if it, if they don't work uh the uh, refrigerator freezer plumbing and the running and driving that's it guys if you got a question about any of that, give us a call, 706-965-7929. Call before coming to look, guys. This thing is not going to be on the market long at all. 89.9, absolutely haggle-free firm. Now, keep in mind, guys, older motor homes, I'm not going to have very good financing. I checked with the finance manager before I did this video. Don't expect very good financing at all. I'm going to just be honest with you. Can we get financing on an 04? Yes. It's going to be very expensive. It's going to be short term, high interest rate. Um, check with your bank. If, even though more than likely whoever buys this is going to be a cash customer or cash and trade. We do take trade-ins. Check with your bank or credit union if you need financing. We can get financing. Don't expect more than 10 years expect a lot higher rate and guys i meant to tell you this the other day i checked with my finance manager y'all know house rates right now are up to five and a half six percent for home rates even with perfect credit um you know we were enjoying six percent rv rates for years we've been very fortunate in this industry um rates have gone up with rvs too and the feds have raised interest rates and it's just it's a trickle effect along house loans car loans and unfortunately rv loans so um you now we're not making money on financing but because this is an 04 i only have one bank that will loan on an 04 they're only going to go short term with a higher rate so it doesn't matter how good your credit score is it's a collateral that affects that so um check with your bank or credit union see what they can do and let your salesperson know and we'll compare it to what we can do but more than likely nine out of ten people looking at this rv believe it or not <coughs> historically based on these uh units like this we've had before are actually cash buyers they've got the money in the bank or in cash <coughs> and they'll pay for it with cash but and you'd be surprised about 60 to 70 percent of our sales and we sell five to six hundred units a year are cash sales people that buy rvs guys these are luxury items are normally pretty well off and they're cash buyers and i'm not saying that everybody is but majority of our customers because our prices are so low compared to other dealers for the same year make and model are cash buyers what do cash buyers look for they look for the lowest price we have the lowest price, so we attract the cash buyers. Now, if we had this thing priced $119,000, $129,000, like every other dealer on the country has their units priced for, then the cash buyers wouldn't be attracted to it, so it would, then, then it wouldn't have mattered. Because we got it priced 20, 30 grand less than everybody else, <coughs> that's why we attract so many cash buyers, at least that's my theory anyway, because cash buyers are gonna go where their dollar stretches the furthest, and that's here at Parkway RV Center. <coughs> I mean, think about it, guys. Why go out and spend 129 when you can buy the same motor on for 89.9? Doesn't matter. I mean, if you, especially if you're paying cash, why spend why spend 130 when you can spend 90 for the same thing? Even if you got to spend four or five grand fixing it up, you're still tens of thousands of dollars ahead. So, yeah, that's why we attract so many cash buyers, guys. And uh, come out and visit with us. I mean, we're 10 grand under wholesale NADA. Thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Make sure you smash me a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe, comment, share on social media. Beautiful 04 Monaco signature. I love the tray ceilings, too. But thank you so much for watching. And uh, call before coming to look, 706-965-7929. Nationwide delivery is available for $2, a loaded mile, one way, and uh, we do take trade-ins. Call us before coming to look, get in contact with a salesperson, get your questions answered. If you're coming a long distance away, I would suggest leaving a deposit. 
motor homes like this don't hit the market every day this far under book. This is the buy of the year on a diesel motor home at Parkway RV Center and really anywhere in the country right now. There's not a better deal on a tag axle motor home, not of this quality with a 60 series Detroit. This is a pre-emissions 60 series Detroit. This is a motor home right here that wouldn't surprise me run five, 600,000 miles if you take care of it. It'll take care of you and keep it repaired, serviced, maintained like it's supposed to be. Um, and you're gonna love the power, guys. <laughs> this thing will pull down a house if you want it to. 1650 pound feet of torque. Wow, it puts these 360 and 380 Cummins are putting in these new ones to shame. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. It, it, it'll, it'll put them things to shame. This thing will drag one of these newer ones plumb sideways up a mountain. Uh, with this. All right, let's try this one more time. But anyway, like I said, this, this big motor will grab a new one, snatch it sideways, take it up a mountain. I mean, <laughs> I mean, this is a heck of a motor in this thing. That motor's probably worth <laughs> no telling what, that motor and chassis. Thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. And uh, stay tuned for some more videos tomorrow. And uh, come out and visit with us. Hit that subscribe button and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. Thanks again.